What's up everyone? Welcome back to Majestic Transformations, where we're going deep into making your life unbelievably awesome. I'm your host, Johnny D, and today we're revealing the top five mistakes in personal development that held me back personally and potentially is holding you back as well. So let's become our best self. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. And guess what? Number three will absolutely blow your mind. But you're just going to have to stick around to find out what it is. So let's do this. All right, number one, the comfort zone. Initially, this is what we're tackling, the comfort zone. We all love feeling cozy and secure. But staying in your comfort zone is like putting a giant stop sign on the road to growth. Why? Because the real magic happens outside of your comfort bubble. It's all about pushing your limits and embracing the unfamiliar. Take small steps outside of your comfort zone. Start with something manageable that pushes you slightly and slightly and build from there. The key is consistent, gradual exposure to new challenges. Imagine the possibilities when you start saying yes to the new experiences and challenges. Let's prove this with scripture. With scripture, excuse me. In Joshua 1 9, it discloses and says, have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So what's the relevance here, you may ask? This verse encourages stepping out of one's comfort zone with courage, emphasizing that God is with us in every challenge that we face outside of these comfort zones. So, Take a moment to visualize every single time you're about to say no to a new opportunity. Visualize that stop sign turning into a green light and just go for it, man. Two, we're going over the fear of failure. So, the fear of failure is like carrying an invisible backpack filled with bricks. It's heavy. It slows you down. And worst of all, it stops you from reaching the peak. Yeah. It's the giant shadow looming over many of us. So, what if I said failure is actually the secret weapon to success? The truth is, every successful person has failed. Not once, but many times. It's not about avoiding failure. It's about learning from it and bouncing back even stronger. So, let's all view failures as feedback, not setbacks. Every misstep is an opportunity to learn and to grow. Instead of aiming for a flawless journey, let's aim for resilience and the ability to adapt. Let's back it up with scripture now. Proverbs 24, 16 states, For a just man falleth seven times and writheth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. What's the takeaway, you might ask? That this illustrates the idea that failure is not the end, but it's just a stepping stone to get to the next level encouraging resilience and understanding that falling is part of the journey to get to the ultimate goal and righteousness. So take a moment and visualize. Remember, failure is the opposite of success. It's a stepping stone towards it. Every time you stumble, you're one step closer to your goal. Continuously visualize success and getting what you want. All right, let's move on to number three, the one you've all been waiting for. The overwhelm of over choice. Also, I did add a bonus mistake at the end of the video, so make sure you do not miss out on that one. So, anyways, back on track with having too many choices. In today's world, we are bombarded with choices. What career path do I take? What skills do I learn? This is an endless array of options that can lead to decision paralysis. The key? Simplify. Focus on what truly aligns with your values and your goals. Less is more. Break down your choices by identifying what truly matters to you. Consider your values, your passions, and goals. Making decisions becomes much, much easier when you have a clear understanding of what you want to achieve. So let's take what the Bible says. In Matthew 6, 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, 
for the morrow shall take care of the things of its oh sorry take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof so what is this saying this encourages us to focus on the present and simplifying the decisions by not worrying excessively about the future which aligns with tackling decision paralysis by simplification so each morning ask yourself what's the one thing that i can do today that will bring me closer to my goal and then take action and do it get it done all right next up number four we have the myth of instant gratification i fell for this trap for a very long time so we live in a world of now 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 but real growth and achievement they take time the pursuit of instant results often leads us to disappointment and to giving up and to burnout embrace the journey celebrate the small wins and remember patience is not just waiting it's staying positive and persistent while you work towards your dreams. So let's set realistic short-term goals that lead you towards the larger and long-term goals. Celebrate these milestones to stay motivated. Patience, persistence are your allies in achieving the long-term success, like I said. Galatians 6.9 says, and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not so how does this verse relate you might ask this verse speaks to the importance of patience and perseverance like previously mentioned emphasizing that the rewards and the results will come in time if one does not give up countering the expectation of instant success so Take this moment to set realistic milestone. Pause the video if you have to and celebrate each one that you achieve. These small victories accumulate and accumulate and they end up adding up into massive success, giving you momentum. All right, the last but not least is the isolation illusion. Illusion, excuse me. In personal development, it's not a solo adventure. It's so easy to feel like you're the only one struggling or that you have to figure it all out on your own. But guess what? You are not alone. Surrounding yourself with a supportive community can be your biggest asset. Share your journey, seek advice, and never underestimate the power of a helping hand. Reach out to someone, connect with others who share your interests or your goals. Whether it's joining a club, attending workshops, participa participating in online forums, or contacting us at, Majes at Majestic Transformations, regardless of what you end up deciding, building a support network can provide encouragement, advice, and new opportunities. So let's back it up with the Bible verse again. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10 says, two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow but woe to him who is alone when he falls, falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Why do I correlate this verse to that? Because it underscores the value of community and mutual support and personal development, highlighting the benefits of sharing the journey with others. So don't let your pride get in the way. Reach out to someone today, whether it's just for advice, support, or just to share your progress. Community is strength. And now, the whole moment you've been waiting for. The bonus mistake. The comparison trap. Ever scrolled through social media, seeing everyone live their best life, and thought, why not me? Guess what? It's a trap. Do not fall for it. It is a mind loop that snares you into believing everybody else is ahead, and you're just, well, not. Here's a twist. Focus on your journey. Your path is unique, like a fingerprint. Embrace it. Love it. Let it guide you to where you belong, not to where you think you should be. So, Galatians 6, 4-5 says, But let every man prove his own work. Then shall have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Why does this piece of scripture come up? Because this passage encourages individuals to focus on their own actions 
and responsibilities rather than comparing themselves to others. It teaches that satisfaction and self-worth should come from the inside, personal achievements, and the fulfillment of one's own duties, not from how one measures up against others. This guidance is very important and can help counteract the negative effects of this comparison trap by redirecting focus to personal growth and accountability. So there you have it guys, the top six development mistakes that I initially fell for and so that way you don't have to and how you can turn them into your PowerPoints. Remember, every single challenge is an opportunity to destroy those goals. So stay curious, stay driven, and let's destroy those goals together. If you love this discussion, smash that like button, share the video far and wide. Don't forget to subscribe for more epic content. Until next time, keep pushing, keep growing, keep being amazing. And as always, thank God for every single opportunity to expand your mind and to leave your comfort zone. You won't be sorry. See you guys.